Hey there viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an interesting topic to talk about in the realm of data analytics and visualization. For this video we're going to take a look at uh, Looker and Power BI and we're going to dive into what both of these tools are and then explore their main differences and of course help you decide which one might be better suited for your specific needs. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, first things first, what are Looker and Power BI? Well, both of these platforms are powerful business intelligence tools, which are designed to help organizations make sense of their data and then gain valuable insights uh, on that topic. They offer intuitive interfaces, both have robust data visualization capabilities, and of course, they both have powerful analytics features. Although that may be the case, there are some notable differences between the two. Looker, which is now a part of Google Cloud, is a modern data platform that allows users to explore, analyze, and share data across their organization. It focuses on providing a user-friendly interface with an emphasis on collaboration and self-service analytics. And of course, Looker's strength lies in its ability to connect to a wide variety of data sources, including SQL databases, um, data warehouses, and even cloud-based systems like Google BigQuery. On the other hand, we have Power BI a product by Microsoft, which has gained significant popularity in recent years. Power BI is a comprehensive suite of tools which allows you uh, to visualize data and create interactive reports and dashboards. You can also share insights across the organization. It integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft products like Excel, Azure, and SQL Server which makes it a compelling choice for businesses that have already invested in the Microsoft ecosystem. All right, so that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and talk now about the main differences between Looker and Power BI. One of the key distinctions uh, lies in their approach to data modeling. Power BI uses a graphical interface where users can build relationships between tables, and define measures and calculations. This approach may be a bit more familiar to users if you are coming from a background in Excel or other data visualization tool. It's relatively easier to get started with Power BI's data modeling, but it may not offer the same level of customization and fine-grained control as Looker. Another significant difference between Looker and Power BI is their pricing models. Looker offers a subscription-based pricing structure which scales based on the number of users and the volume of data that is being processed. Uh, this can be advantageous for certain organizations that want to start small and then eventually gradually expand their analytics capabilities. While on the other hand, Power BI provides both a free version with limited features and a paid version with additional functionalities. The paid version is licensed on a per-use basis, which can be a cost-effective option for organizations if you have a more specific number of users. When it comes to integrations, both Looker and Power BI offer robust connectivity options. Looker can connect to a wide range of data sources, as previously mentioned, which includes popular databases, data lakes, as well as cloud forms. And the fact that Power BI is a Microsoft product, it can seamlessly integrate with other Microsoft services like Azure, SQL Server, and SharePoint. This can be a significant advantage if your organization already relies heavily on Microsoft technologies. And now for the big question. 
Which one is better? Well, it's important to note that the answer depends on your specific requirements and the resources available to your organization, as per usual. Looker excels in providing a user-friendly experience with powerful collaboration features, which makes it an excellent choice for organizations that prioritize self-service analytics as well as data exploration. It's also highly customizable and offers a flexible data modeling approach through LookML. However, it may require more technical expertise to fully leverage its capabilities, so you will have to get more of an understanding of how to use this tool compared to Power BI. Speaking of Power BI, its integration with the Microsoft ecosystem and combined with its intuitive interface as well as ease of use, it makes it a strong contender, especially for businesses that is already invested in the Microsoft uh, suite of technologies. It also provides a wide range of pre-built connectors and offers a smooth experience for users familiar with Excel and other Microsoft tools. Power BI also has a thriving user community and a rich marketplace for custom visuals and extensions, so you can really customize the interface more towards your liking and to your needs. Ultimately, the best choice between Looker and Power BI really depends on your specific needs, your budgets, your existing technology stack, as well as the skill set of your team. I would recommend taking advantage of trial versions or demos and then conducting a thorough evaluation to determine which platform aligns best with your goals and your company needs. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope this overview helped you shed some light on these very powerful business intelligence tools. Remember, both Looker and Power BI have their unique strengths and can significantly enhance your data analytics capabilities. So make sure to do further research and consult with your team to make an informed decision. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. And as always, feel free to leave a comment or any questions down below. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye.